Hello and welcome back to the Ultracast. It's been quite a while. It's been just over a month now, and it was supposed to be a weekly podcast. That didn't go very well. We're going to try uh-huh. and do more regularly. Um, so um, I'm joined, joined today by Pat. Hello. And Louis. Hello. And Nicky was going to join, but he's just dead or something. Without <laughs> cat shearing invisible monsters. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Um, but yeah, so because it's been a quite a while, I thought I'd do a little quick sort of recap of everything that's happened up to the last week, and then we'll do the last week in depth. So, since last time we recorded, the whole Syndicate, T. Martin, CSGO, Lotto thing happened. Which what exactly was, happened in that? Oh Please. my god, <laughs> god how can you not? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, inform our audience. I want to start by saying that I personally think they should both be in jail. Mm-hmm. Um, um, so what they did, Pat, was they um, they started a gambling site for CS:GO skins. Do you know how the CS:GO skin system works? Yeah, I think so. So Tell you've got these skins, and they have a monetary value, yeah. Yeah. Um, and that's a real monetary value based on demand and supply and yeah. rarity and blah blah blah. Yeah. Um, so they're kind of currency. So they've got they started a gambling website about it. Yeah. And then on their channels, they promoted that gambling website, saying they were being sponsored by it. Okay. Uh, not disclosing that they owned it, saying they'd discovered it and the site had decided to sponsor them. And uh-huh. um, there are allegations that they were advertising the channel, cha- blah, 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 advertising the site by rigging the results, oh, um, stuff like that. Basically, they had this illegal gambling site. And they were lying to send their 13, 14 year old fans to it. Oh. So not only were they making an illegal gambling site, they were sending underage people to it, oh, lying blimey. to their fans, and they're all going to get away with it. Valve, who created the situation and profited from it, T. Martin and Syndicate, who obviously also did exactly the same thing, all going to get away with it. Oh, wow. Completely unscathed. Oh, and shit. It's disgusting. Yeah. Oh my! Like I think Syndicate's kind of I don't got through I think, it. The best out of him and all the other YouTubers. Yeah, I think but. Syndicate is the brains behind the operation. Personally, like I think the way it's all gone down, I really do think that Syndicate is the guy who was like the smarts behind it, and he got T Martin in with him for some extra funding and some extra fans and stuff like that. And T Martin's flailing and drawing all the attention now, and Syndicate's sitting back and. Um, Basically, mm. most of the flack isn't going in his direction, which is wrong because I personally believe he is just in the wrong oh, yeah. as T. Martin. Like he he broke the same laws, he did the same thing. He is just as bad, um, maybe worse. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> yeah, I'm sorry, I I feel really passionate. But we about could this. talk I, about that all day. I say it does need to be a brief. Yeah, card cut. I say I, it's, I, it's been spoken about so much, and I did a video on it actually. I still, deleted it. I think there's still stuff happening now about it, about YouTubers and stuff. Yeah, basically the lawsuit went down and Valve didn't get in any trouble. Um, Valve obviously created the skin economy, created the artificial scarcity, um, and they knew about all these sites. They talked about them before, um, CSGO Lounge in particular. Um, But Valve knew this was going on. They allowed it to go on because these sites... Um, in order to get skins, you have to buy the crates and buy the keys, uh. and the money you do goes to Valve. Oh. Um, so Valve knew this was happening; they were earning money from it, um, and they they let it happen. Basically, they created the situation for it to happen. So they didn't commit the murder, so to speak, but they gave Syndicate and T Martin the knife. They gave them an alibi um, and all that stuff. So, I don't know. I think it's wrong that Valve are going to get away with it. But hey, if you're rich, you're above the law. So, who gives a shit? (sighs) Well, yeah. Um, It's kind of something I think it's going to be still ticking over my mind. Apparently, other people being revealed as involved, other YouTubers, lesser known ones. So, yeah, it's quite an interesting time. As small YouTubers, I think... I don't know if I speak for Josh here in saying... If these guys don't appreciate their jobs... And if they're greedy, if it's not enough for them, if playing video games for a living and mm-hmm. earning millions isn't enough for them, I will happily take their place. Yeah. Because, frankly, I deserve it more than them. <sighs> so, anyway, overwatchskins.joshsimons.com is not owned by me. <laughs> <laughs> you should check it out. And, but, uh, um... I, I've also been sponsored by them. Uh, I'm <laughs> absolutely not also in the incorporation. Buy sales. our products. Um, <laughs> 
Um, but yeah, plenty to talk about. Uh, Pokemon Go came out. Oh god, the world. that was fucking massive. Um, We've had good times with Pokemon Go. Yeah, they I probably they it. definitely oh. did not expect it to be as big as it did. I, I think like, they expected shit. some level of interest. Yeah, but I don't think the quite the full blown. Even. Oh no, the servers absolutely. I know, and that. just the amount of I say, just every day used by everyone, people that wouldn't have even considered it in the past and weren't even gamers really. Yeah, like when yeah. you get these dodgy looking people coming up to you, say, "Oh, I just got a need around over there." I'm like, "Wow, oh, okay, ev- everyone's yeah, we playing." Got this- <laughs> we and Matt were playing it um, with the guys, and this guy, he's like a big beefy, um, big beefy guy. He's completely bald. He, he looked like his. he looked like he would punch you for looking at him wrong. And, and he, he was, yeah, he was smoking. He had a lit cigarette in his hand. And he's like, oh, come on, need a rat. Goes, guys, there's a need a rat. It was, like, <laughs> <laughs> it was, um, it was amazing. very funny. My, my parents have got it downloaded. They've been <laughs> playing it. It's, oh god, that's brilliant. Yeah. Oh, brilliant! My sister was inquiring about it as well, so I was like, "Oh god!" And then at yeah, my work, scary. even though I work at um, a nursery, like even loads of the teachers are just like, "Hey, uh, let's <laughs> uh, who's got Pokemon Go?" <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Um, other things. Okay, this is all kind of things I picked out over the last team Mystic for the win. Crawling through stuff. Oh, fuck you. Pat. Um, uh, <laughs> Xbox avatars, they're introducing wheelchairs for them, which I think is that's, quite, that's quite good. Always, always that's good. Toys good. Over the same brother, I think it's quite cool that they kind of get some time, type yeah. of representation because it's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. kind of bad when I feel that like someone's disabled playing it and then they see an avatar themselves that's not them. Yeah, yeah. So it's kind of cool they get that kind. You know, Speaking about that, that actually, um, Blizzard, did you hear about that whole thing? I can't quite remember what, what it was about, that? but Blizzard had introduced like um some sort of feature that allowed somebody who was disabled in such a way to play the game. Um, oh, okay. Oh. I, can't, I can't remember what it was about. Um, basically, he, the way they had the game set up, um, he couldn't properly play a sniper because of his, um, his mobility. Um, and then Blizzard introduced a setting that would allow him to do it. I can't remember the oh, fine okay. details. But, yeah, that's, it's just always really nice to hear about stuff yeah, like that. I mean, this. there's loads like, of charities... That sort yeah. of thing. I think mean, special effects is one of them. They do loads of stuff, different types of controllers and stuff. Controlled by yeah. like Ch- Charles Play. Charles Play, I think one as well. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. they're really good. Um, oh. what's that? Oh, Evolve the... went free to play. Yeah, that was. Have you guys tried that out yet? No. <laughs> I I've played it a lot, but not for a long time. No, I still am. We should. Um, yeah, we check should... it out. Yeah, that absolutely would absolutely check it out. Yeah. It would be no, fun with all of us. The thing is, it's still paid on console. Yeah, that's, I a checked on my PS4 that's a bit stupid. And like it's forty-seven ninety-nine. Well, or Pat, like the that. way it works is that uh, in order to release an update for a console, it has to go through all this process. Yeah, but I don't from... even have. Uh, I read somewhere that they were considering it, so that's even if yeah. they do it. Um, basically, Pat, um, if you want to release uh, an update for a game on, let's say the PS4, you have to submit it to Sony. You have to pay the money. Yeah. It'll take a while. That's why Overwatch is in such a dire state on the consoles in comparison to the um, yeah. the PC because it's the Blizzard's own platform. They can do what they like with it. Yeah. On the PS4, yeah. um, Torbjorn was completely broken for yeah. months because <laughs> Blizzard could not release an update to fix him oh, without gosh. going through Sony. Yeah, I reckon yeah. that's probably the situation with Evolve. They probably don't have the money or don't no, see the yeah. profit in sorting yeah. it out right now. Ah, and yeah. I just don't think Evolve has any following on console, really. Absolutely, it's, it's, yeah. it, so is, that, a, it is a like fun for what it is, but oh god, I eventually got so bored. Like, mm. oh my god, it seemed like a really, it seemed like a, a sort of a, I guess a glorified game of hide and seek to me. It yeah. is pretty much it. I'll, um, I can go ahead and say it's great idea, but poor execution, really. I think it it was sort of set up to have unsatisfying gameplay because everyone to make a game like that work, everyone needs to have quite a high health pool, which yeah. means that you're often going to feel like your attacks aren't doing anything. Yeah, yeah. That's if how you're I felt in the beta, at least. if you're facing a guy who's actually quite good as the monster. It is pretty much just a long, boring game of hide and seek because they're really good yeah. just running away and hiding yeah. and shit. I think it's a good idea, and I think free to play is definitely the, the model for it. Like, yeah, probably should have gone it. It's completely start. free right now, by the way. Yeah. There's absolutely no microtransactions. Who's in there? Just, We're sponsored by. I, I, I should just be full of them. 
No, they not? haven't implemented them yet. Oh, okay. Uh, they haven't decided how their business model is going to be. Oh, right. They've said they might just make it completely free and get to work on Evolve 2. They've got, um, yeah, they've even um, changed the name of it, isn't it? Like Evolve it's Stage Evolve 2. Evolve Stage 2, yeah. Yeah, that's oh. a bit weird. Okay, that's oh. weird because that means the sequel's going to be Stage 3. <laughs> that's weird. I, yeah, Stage 3 will probably be them introducing all of the microtransactions. It may be, yeah. Huh. Um, anyway, back to Overwatch briefly. Um, Anna uh, was introduced. Have you I, played much? I still haven't played her. I really, I, I really, I really like her myself. Anna. I ain't even been on yeah. Overwatch. Like, I, loaded, I loaded up um, <sighs> Battle.net the other day and it had a fuck ton of updates for like, everything. Yeah, and I was have, just like, oh, fuck. And then I kind of went away. So didn't do it. Yeah, but, but me and Louis, so me and Louis both Overwatch have the... An incredible game. Yeah, me and Louis both got the waifu skins of Anna, where she's like oh, really young, beautiful. and we got the the tea yeah, em- the tea emote, which is really good. Yeah, where but she yeah. Like dips some tea, and it's great for a brick. Um, yeah, basically they didn't just launch with Anna; they also made loads and loads of balance changing updates. Yeah, making yeah. Diva and Zenyatta playable. Yeah, they're, really, they're in the meta right now. Yeah, amazing. exactly. I see so many more um, of them now. And the game is much more dynamic now. Anna is a really, really good hero. Yeah. She's got a really high skill ceiling. She's really powerful, but at low level play, she's not so good. Yeah. So the problem with Anna is that she doesn't get medals, and she might not be noticed if you're a bad player. Like the way she works is she can buff the amount of healing that a, another healer will do. Yeah. Um, her healing is single target, very focused. So somebody's getting shot at tons Anna's healing them but they don't notice they think they're just getting missed yeah stuff like that so a bad player does not appreciate a good Anna basically. <laughs> and that's the problem with her right now yeah that's kind of a non-issue at high level play and uh, that's where it matters what she's like I guess mm. uh, yeah apparently on console if you choose her you like instantly get messages calling you a dick <laughs> yeah I actually when Anna launched uh, even though I'm actually and I, I don't want to be egotistical here. I'm a, I'm a good Anna. Uh, I get a lot of shit when I pick her because, again, bad players and stuff. Although I'm not really at the, that rank anymore. Uh, um, again, she's she's an incredible hero. She's really powerful. Yeah. Uh, it's it's just the case of sort of balancing out that. So Zenyatta right now is really powerful too, and he's the other off healer. He's he's the other secondary healer. Uh, so a lot of people are like, well, if you're going to play Anna, you should instead just play Zenyatta because uh-huh. he's better and it's not necessarily the case but yeah <laughs> basically um, yes blizzard very good yes um mini nes preload of games I, I, I want which that. it's only like 50 quid <laughs> it's, it's pretty cute yeah it's cute. A good deal. i'm surprised at the price I've, i was when i saw it i was like yeah but how much they're going to charge for it but yeah it's a good price yeah uh-huh. as, the, is. as the type of person that just Randomly buys old gaming shit, and obviously yeah, I do all that shit on my. How channel. many games did I you really get? Forty to... games, was it? So wow, forty or thirty? I can't Come remember. On, but either way, it's a lot of games. I do yeah. wonder if it works with my capture card because it is HDMI enabled. Yeah, should be good. Hopefully, yeah, that'd be cool. And I don't know whether it could, would it have any support for digital stuff if they ever wanted to add more stuff. I don't know. They said they seem to imply that you one can't put anything in it. And who can't download anything onto it? Oh, but still. Which really sucks. Yeah, because, but eh, but at the same time, there's a lot of games. Yeah, it's like, it's a lot of games, and it's kind of a nostalgia thing, collect, collectors it is, type thing, yeah, in itself, really. really. Uh-huh. Yeah. But I heard um, Sega apparently going to try something similar. Really? They're going to do a big collection of all their stuff on like I a think mini. I'd be interested in that Sega type thing. I don't know what that of... actually be the console would be. Yeah. Would they base it on an old one or just call it something else? I think a lot of people used to love. The um, the old Dreamcast is one of those consoles that people say is before its time, really good. Uh, as somebody who was obviously born before it was released, I mean after it was released, um, and never got to play with it as a little kid, I think I'd be interested in buying that. Yeah. Um, yeah cool. And playing a bunch of old Dreamcast games on something that looks and feels like a Dreamcast. I mean, Microsoft can do it as well. Hey, with the, the Xbox. Xbox minus one. Yeah. It had a personality. <laughs> I actually had one of those. Um, Did he? All right. Yeah. Yeah, I've been probably after my Harry Potter marathon, which you guys should check out. Um, <laughs> I'm probably might do an old Xbox game one day. Probably Mission Impossible. Uh, it was like kind of like Splinter Cell, but with Tom Cruise. Huh. Yeah. Cool. Um, oh yeah, Rise of Tomb Raider. It's getting a PS4 release. That's good. Um, oh, cool. That's good. I was like, I still haven't played it, and I was kind of waiting until that really. Yeah, um, but if you pre-order, sucks. you get access to the first one. 
definitive oh, cool. edition of that, which is quite cool. Yeah, that's good. That's pretty you know cool. I'm saying? It's like 40 quid pre-order. That's as much as one game should Yay, be Yay, pre-orders! Anyway, so, yeah. Two games having, for one, um, almost. Having played both, um, I think Rise of the Tomb Raider is a better game, but it's cool. good having both. They're both good games. Yeah, and I'll say, I, I, ages I played through it, so it'd be yeah. nice to replay it and a bit fancier graphics and that, and new trophies, etc. Yeah, <laughs> that's cool. Right. And yeah. finally, on the recap thing, um, Sonic Mania. That look, oh, yeah, Mania and like looks a, pretty And then like good. a new sort of 3D Sonic. That new, the new 3D Sonic looks really good. I'm really Super hoping it'll be laughter. good. Oh god! It's the I... Sonic 06, the sequel. Sonic 2017. Yeah. Sonic 012. I'm that guy who just looks at Sonic, and I've actually played the original Sonic CD. Uh, I went back to it. I was like, "What's all this about?" You know, I've never played a decent Sonic game. I think Sonic is just objectively terrible. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think Sonic is broken from the ground up, and I'm not excited for this. But it's not for me, so whatever. Sonic Adventure Master Race, yeah! <laughs> Right, so um, other than Pokemon and Overwatch, have we been playing anything else different this week? Barely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm mostly, this week's been mostly Overwatch, although that time when um, four of you came over, we played a bunch of the multiplayer games. What was Wait, it? We played... We uh, Yeah, it was you, yeah. Zach, Jono, and Nikki, Bushido, I think. Um, yeah, Bushido, Bushido Black, and Black and White, which is fucking amazing. It was very fun. Very fun for what it is. Uh, uh, gang beasts, which is fucking terrible. Oh. It kept crashing. It, it kept crash? crashing, it's and it's game, just it's it just crashing. awful. It just crashed. It crashed like at the end of every game. It was yeah, really it's good for a laugh, and that's about it. Like it's yeah. just retarded. Uh, have you seen that game? It's new one. It came out like yesterday or like what? today. Overcooked. Overcooked. No, it's basically it's apparently it's shit for single player, but cops amazing. It's yeah. basically the end of the world, and there's this giant monster, and you have to cook food to feed it. <laughs> so you like co-op like one of you has to chop vegetables and then one of them has to cook it and one of them has to serve it and stuff like that and That's then you fail and then you get sent back in time and basically you work through like a world stage by stage in different restaurants cooking all these foods and you have to get the orders right but it's working yeah. together in co-op it's quite fun and then crazy shit happens like you're on a ship so everything's sliding back and forward yeah and fucking volcano splits the floor so you half of you on one side half on the other and you can't get to each other <laughs> so you have to like drop potatoes down on the floor what is it like a 2d like, or sort of 2d 3d top down yeah. kind of thing All yeah right. we should definitely give that a go That's yeah really, really, really fun. interesting hmm. yeah, fun. um uh what else there was last fight which is all right it's last just fight uh was pretty fun it standard me of beam Super up Slam. yeah it's just a just a cool beam up but like, the music's cool the characters are different enough i guess but... oh that pink that poison ivy person oh fuck her that she... she just says that same really annoying voice it's like, like she has this oh, one yeah, I mean, yeah it's like EGX. and that's guy it's just like oh, every single annoying. time it's awful whoever designed like oh she'll say that every time she does that attack rethink <laughs> your design choices you <laughs> bellend Oh, oh yeah, my god! That was we were really finding annoying. that annoying by the end of playing it at um, Rest. Like, yeah, five minutes. It's just like shut. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we said like as soon as we finished playing it, we were like, I hope they fixed this. They didn't. They didn't. They didn't fix <laughs> they didn't, it. By the way, <laughs> they didn't uh, fix it. I don't even know how that game plays. I know you can become some massive super form, but I don't even know how to do that. Yeah, uh, the... I don't think we we're very good at it. Uh, oh well, oh. So there's Black and White Bushido, Last Fight. Um... There was one other game. Oh, gang, the uh, Gang Beasts I mean, and one other? I mean, we did play um, a bunch of the Jackbox Party games. Oh, yeah, that, the oh, Jackbox, you can't go wrong with... Um, what's our favourite? Uh, Fibbage. Fibbage is fucking brilliant. Fibbage. Even if... Uh, what's, what's it called? The, uh, the You Don't Know Jack just confuses you, Pat. I hate really that funny. game. It's so <laughs> fucking stupid. <laughs> Which one's that they, one? Um, is that the drawing you one? You Don't Know Jack, you know, the, the quiz game. Oh, the quiz the, one. Uh, the game show, yeah. Yeah. It's because um, you know how they always theme it, and they'll, like, ask you a question, uh, and it'll be, like, themed and funny, and the real question is, what is the question asking you to say? Yeah. Like, um, so the real the real challenge is to decipher the question. If you're not good at deciphering, yeah. then that, that game is just a bunch of hilarious. gobbledygook. <laughs> I was just like, what the <laughs> fuck is this? <laughs> And then, of course, I you can screw hilarious. your friend. I think the whole screwing thing is fucking stupid. Oh, I just don't like. Them. I just don't like but it. That drawing one. Maybe you play the drawing one. Okay, that like, drawful is turns into us drawing oh, dicks. Oh, Mickey. Um, yeah. Like, took a picture of him drawing. Like, what? Like one insane drawing of his, and then tagged it on the Google Maps area for what, some house near Pat's. Uh, 
and it got like 50 views or something. <laughs> I really hope that got taken down and doesn't like actually affect people wanting to view their house or something. People get triggered <laughs> by it. Yeah. So like, if you're affected by this drawing. It's like a picture of some guy. Um, I, don't, I can't remember what he's doing. He's like it's standing something... there with his hands on his waist with like a massive cock. Yeah, ni- you. I think us lot, or well, Nicky mostly draws cocks a bit too much. <laughs> I think it's starting to say something about it. <laughs> in his private time, he sits at home just, just drawing cocks. It's like in Super Bad, where that guy has yeah. loads of artistic drawings like Hill, just to pick bad. cocks. <laughs> <laughs> it's just stupid. Um, well, I've been uh, playing a whole mix of things. Uh, I've been kind why? of in like MMO kind of mode. Jumping between Destiny and Elder Scrolls Online and Neverwinter. Do you see that on my channel? I, have I played heard that. Of that. Yeah. I, I played have, that, yeah. Playing that. And um, Warframe a bit as well. Yeah. Jumping back and forth too. Neverwinter looks a lot like WoW. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's basically just kind of it's D&D, sort of traditional. Nice. Fantasy. But it's just fun. It's free to play. So yeah. It's, fun to it's to on play. PS4, isn't it? Yeah. It's been on PC I can't for years. imagine playing uh, MMO on PS4. They're not too bad. But you like, don't have enough buttons. You just, you literally, you're just out of buttons. It feels after playable. A while. Okay. Sometimes you feel restricted, but it's okay. Yeah. And like a lot of the time, they use the touchpad, and then you get like a mini mouse on the screen. So in like Final Fantasy, you get a mini mouse, so you can do most oh, right. of the stuff you could do. And, you can, and I think and Final Fantasy does support mouse and keyboard. All right. Which is quite mm. good. And yeah, Warframe, uh... which I'm kind of dipping out of. Yeah, that's. And get good overwhelmed game. by the amount of stuff you can craft and shit, but oh, it's my fun. God, I don't know. It's fun to do. It's it was. Are you playing on PS4? Yeah. All oh, right then. I don't know if it's um, cross compatible. Probably not. Uh, I don't think so. No. But it's got a lot of that game has got a lot of content patches and updates and everything. Oh yeah. Since I last played it. And well, every time I gone back, it's like something like new and different, and the ship's it, like bigger and all this new stuff in it. It's a Warframe is a genuinely good example of how to do free to play. Oh yeah. I think. It, like, I, I think I played it when I first got my PS4, and it was just the galaxy map, and you just chose planets to go to and do missions. That's, and then I come yeah. back to it a year later, and you had a ship. You have I come a ship back to it a few months later, and, and now the ship's like been expanded, cave. and the ship's like three times the size it was before. Yeah. It's crazy, but yeah, that's it's really good. That's so how to do free to play. It is absolutely yeah. just keep a constant stream of stuff to keep people coming yeah. back and back and back and back. <laughs> yeah. Um, really good game. Well, anyway, we're going to move on to the news from last week. We're going to take a quick you break. Talk about what I, I played. To... I thought you did. <laughs> you were fucking talking about. I think. Wait, sorry. Tell me what you played. <laughs> what? That's nah, all right. I've just been um other than Overwatch and stuff like that. I've just been it's doing been stuff doing... for the channel. Yeah. Um. So that's okay. I was I was just kidding. Oh, cool. <laughs> but I have to go for a second. So I'll take a quick break, and after the break, we'll carry on with the news from the last week. How long's so the I'll break? See you soon. Like, what for everyone? Be like Live two seconds. <laughs> Yeah, for but, them it'll just be a transition. Yeah, well, I'll make but them wait, wait like an us, hour. Weeks. <laughs> I mean, be, what? How weeks. long is our break? <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. but yeah, so we'll see you after the break. Bye. Bye. Welcome back to the Ultracast. Oh, <laughs> oh <Christ>. whoa, yeah. <laughs> well, how about that? Right, so last week, um, No Man's Sky got leaked, a copy got leaked and sold on eBay for $2,000. Oh, the shit. The guy's like, yeah, I'm rich, I'll get Which it. is mental. Yeah. <laughs> and now everyone's yeah. losing their shit because apparently things aren't quite what people thought they were going to be. I because don't I, really think that's actually entirely correct. I think people are just losing their shit just cause. Like I know, and it's too much hype. Way too much hype for it. I think I'm, but, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. The concerns seem completely unjustified. I know. <laughs> like, it's like, apparently it's 30 hours to get to center of the galaxy. Yeah, was, but that's was, not, was, that's not like, oh, if a completion, if it like... I know, it's a game like, that's Minecraft. You can spend yeah. 20 hours in that in a world and then be kind of done with that world, doesn't mean all that. You can spend 300 hours just playing Minecraft, or yeah, you can no. spend like five just getting to the end. But yeah. the end is completely inconsequential. It I doesn't know. matter. I know. And that's why I look at the No Man's Sky. It's and a like, game that is theoretically endless. It's not 30 hours long. It's 30 hours to release a arbitrarily defined end state. Yeah, which some people need. But... 
you can still you know, carry on after that. Then they, No Man's Sky isn't for them. No, like, like they've, they've put that in as kind of an ending so people can feel some sort of closure because some people yeah. don't like kind of, they want to have yeah. some sort of closure. I just, but it's done in a way. It's 30 hours long. I think it's something like you get to the galaxy, the galaxy, something amazing happens, and then you find out there's another galaxy or something like that, and you get to yeah. carry on. Yeah, so you still cool. haven't explored the first galaxy. Yeah. You just rush to the center. Yeah. So, whatever. Yeah. And, like, apparently, like, originally the plan was that there's going to be sort of barren planets, and then you're going to get planets that had really weird and interesting creatures on. Yeah. But apparently, yeah. they've kind of tweaked it a bit so most planets have life on. But some planets have really interesting life. That's yeah. really interesting. I think it's better. It feels yeah. more alive that way. Yeah, People yeah. complaining like, "Oh no, I was looking forward to more rare encounters." Well, yeah. well then <laughs> you're going to have a kind of a game that is Just mostly empty. filler and yeah. no killer. Yeah, yeah. So I think all killer most of the complaints no are stupid. Yeah, people yeah. just worrying because I say it's been hyped too much. It's just the usual internet thing. Of, yeah, a uh, very very small vocal minority being idiots about idiot things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I'm saying two thousand pounds just for a copy is ridiculous, and it's out in like well, a week's time. Yeah. I think the guy, like obviously, you know, it's supply and demand. That was one copy, and a lot of people vying for it. But that guy's just like, eh, I have loads of money, and I want to play it, so I'm gonna go play it. Yeah. Um, and I guess if I was rich, you know, yeah. I wouldn't mind spending two thousand. Talking on about game. money, uh-huh. um, HTC Vive price has apparently gone up to seven hundred and fifty nine due to Brexit. Just oh my God. this, this just pushes it over the edge. You know, it was a bad decision <laughs> before, but now it's just the worst decision. <laughs> I don't know how much it was originally. For am I allowed to talk about politics? <laughs> No, sort of. Don't no. do it. <laughs> ah, no, nah, I think it's a pretty care. unanimous thing that Brexit was a mistake. So, mm. Brexit was a mistake, guys. Mm. Oh, wow, that's pretty expensive, though. Like, holy shit. Well, yeah, well, it's going to be expensive it's, anyway. It's I don't know how the original prices before. It was six hundred, wasn't it? Oh, okay, crisis quite. Whoa, it's um early adopter kind of thing, so it's yeah. going to be expensive, and it is HTC Vive, which is the more technically yeah. advanced. I think one. eventually, in say five years, it's going to be becoming more affordable. Yeah, and I'm looking forward to that because VR is amazing. Yeah, the same way <laughs> that like when DVD players first came out, they were expensive as fuck, and then yeah. when Blu-ray players come out, they were expensive as fuck. Yeah, so, actually, they come down. Blame blame Boris Johnson for yep. VR being being more expensive. He because... doesn't care. He can afford it. Yeah, he, if absolutely. He, if he knew what it was, he doesn't need to face. Uh, what is this? Hurts anything on my, on my mouth? I put it. I put it on my dick. What do I do? Should, with it? <laughs> we should take a moment to appreciate that Boris Johnson is actually being and is in positions of power. Like not uh, a joke thing. He's not the joke. <laughs> he wasn't the joke. Mayor. No, he was a real mayor. Uh, the man is a clown. We he got is one a of those, literal. We got clown. one of those um, bullshit fan call things. That, like people were like, oh, we're here from a local research thing to do with housing and stuff. And it's always bollocks. And he goes, oh, my name. He's Michael Gove. And I was like, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's an unfortunate coincidence. Your name's Michael oh Gove. God. I bet if he walks up to like, if he's just like, oh, my name is Michael Gove to a teacher, they just dive on him, <laughs> extend their nails into claws. Anyway, that's politics. We can talk about politics <laughs> all day. Um, Doom DLC's out. And a quite a cool thing they've done is that if you're in a party of other players, only one of them needs to actually own it. That's really cool. And everyone oh, can play nice. it. It's quite cool. That's pretty awesome. Kind of makes up for no mod support, sort of. Yeah, pretty sweet. Um, Xbox One S is selling out in the UK, apparently. Why? Oh, wow. I don't know why. Stupid people. And they've actually announced some of the figures is that the faster GPU apparently can push for an extra 9 FPS. Oh, my. In some games. Oh, the future is upon us. I think <laughs> if a game is running at 21 FPS, that is the only time that will ever be beneficial. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like... Or 51. Upping, upping it from 30 <laughs> to 39 makes just no pointless. visible difference I know. because of how refresh rates work. It's <laughs> like the Xbox One S and the Xbox Scorpio are just, they're just glorified. They're nothing. They they are no improvement. They're worthless, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, oh, God. Look, because of the shortage, price has gone up. It's pretty like, uh, yeah. like, I don't care anyway. I won't be buying one because everything is. I'm waiting out on for the, the hundred teraflop Xbox Scorpio connection Ter- with high quality pixels. <laughs> <laughs> Check out is everyone? Sexy um, oh fuck! 
Has everyone got Windows 10 here then? Yeah. Yeah. All right, because it stopped being free a few weeks ago, didn't it? Or oh, a did few it? Days ago. Yeah. Oh, okay. Zach just got I'm there sure. in time, I think. Um, so we've all got it now because obviously all the Xbox One games coming to PC are Windows 10, not 7. Because oh, yeah. Microsoft want us all to have Windows 10. Oh. It's mm. part of their world domination plan. <laughs> no. Um, the Division movie apparently is happening. Whoa, woo. Which is like... Fucking woo. Two, two hours of them <laughs> shooting one guy for him to die finally. <laughs> so yeah, that game's got a really high quality beanie on. That game had high potential and got fucked by greed. Fucked. I never even played it. Enemies fucked. take too long to kill. And it's just too fucking like grind. It's the sort of game that if you get back into now, you're going to get fucked because everyone has such good gear that you're I mean, way below what they when got. When I look at people playing The Division, I'm like, you should just play Warframe. Because hmm. it's that same kind of looter shooter um, with multiplayer elements and all of that, but it's actually mechanically a good game and not. Like, so it's not I enjoyed it murder your the wallet. first week up until the point where then you kind of hit that end game and they introduced a raid thing they added in, which meant a few other people tried and it was basically just this tank and you have to fight like 15 waves of enemies oh. and every five waves you get a bit of C4 to put on the tank to blow off some of its health. Yeah. Which is stupid. Uh-huh. In like a fantasy oh, setting or a space setting that works, but for real life it just doesn't work a boss fight like that with a tank. I was and, trying to break a wall down yeah. with, a, with a hose. Like, <laughs> it's just. And every. Like, if, you, if you die on any of the ways, even if you're right up to like the last wave, you restart the whole thing. And it takes oh, about God. half an hour for like That's... two waves. It was ridiculous and so hard. We just got. We, we were raging so much, we gave up. And that's the last time I played it. So uh, more work than play. Hmm. I don't. That's. Uh, oh, it's like. It reminds me of my mate who played. You know the. DLC on Borderlands 1, um, Moxie's thing. Oh, yeah. You know, they have the things that are like 90 waves or something. Oh, like him, <laughs> him and three mates play through all three of them, trying to think if they oh, got anything, got but you don't get anything. Did you get an and achievement? So, I can't remember. I think you want an achievement and that's it. Yeah, I remember like I got that nothing on Xbox else and they just rage quit. John wanted to get the achievement. So we started up and I had to go. Oh. And I, I was gone for a few hours. And when I come back, John was still there going oh through like God. wave 60 or something. Oh like, my Christ. God. Uh, <laughs> we got it really done in the end, but he sound. spent a lot of it on his own, just doing it on his own. Uh, it's like, fuck. like work. It I know. Really does, like, work, 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 just... work, work, work. <laughs> it's like not even mm-hmm. the fun car. You don't even get experience. It's like. Yeah. Uh, Overwatch yeah. has had a summer. Update oh, that thing. was cool! Olympic stuff. That's I'm really cool. I'm loving it. The skin, the really. It, yeah. Have the you skins guys are... seen the uh, McCree America skin? Yeah, that looks know? awesome. An America flag. I'm not even from America, and that looks really cool. Yeah, <laughs> I, I am gonna reign freedom from above, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting my heroes wrong. <laughs> I got the. Um, I got a couple of finishing poses. I'm not gonna lie, I bought a couple of boxes. I, I got a couple. Too. I got a couple finishing poses, but I really want uh, Roadhogs. It looks really cool, but I haven't got it yet. Cool. What's Roadhog doing? Uh, it's really good. He's just basically holding up a giant gold medal, which just yeah, looks they're really all holding cool. medals. Yeah, the, it's really um, cool. Obviously, the Widowmaker medal pose is a butt pose. Uh, of course, um, all, all the poses. I'd so say bad. the really good thing, like I really liked about this, is that. Um, We've got a new Zaya skin. Oh yeah, it looks really good. Obviously, Zaya, all of her skins are bad. Like <laughs> a single good skin. Oh, so it's cool. good to finally have decent Zaya skins, and I've yeah. got both of them because I have luck like that. <laughs> I also bought eleven boxes. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so tempting. All the boxes. I need more boxes. It's. Uh, so I need to try it. I've watched a good Arna. game. <laughs> you haven't done any competitive yet, have you? I wasn't high enough level last time I went on, and I probably oh. still ain't. <laughs> Oh no, you don't want to be playing quick play now. Uh, quick play is completely broken because uh, um, all the hero, like the new diva, and well, just generally the game is now designed around having a one hero limit. Uh, and quick play doesn't have a one hero limit. So um, the meta right now is just like, oh, six divas, it's fine. They won't be able to hit us, so we'll just blow them all up. And it's fine. <laughs> and, <laughs> quick play, quick play plays like shit now. Um, Lol. Competitive is where it's at. <laughs> cool. Um, but Blizzard said they're going to 
planning more stuff for the future, like Halloween probably. Kind of like TF2. Oh, that's yeah. really, I really cool. I really like Christmas that they're doing that. Stuff. That's, quite that's yeah. really awesome. With WoW, I think it's just because Blizzard know how to support a game and they know they need to keep doing this. If yeah. They yeah. Keep people, keep people coming back. Yeah. Uh, and I personally will keep coming back because it's an amazing game. I will more come back. Nice. Yeah. Legion's out soon, isn't it, for WoW? I think. Nobody cares. People play well uh, Nobody do. cares. <laughs> people play WoW. Nah, Some people nah. do. I have a friend who um, still plays WoW. I think I was done with it before. I never like, really played it. I played it a briefly. Little after, a little after Pandaria. And I was like, oh my god. And Zach quit. And it was £9. Oh, no. Um, but I don't know. Whatever. Well, I it's it's wow. quite cool. Apparently they've made it now. I don't know when. Probably a while ago now they've done it. So you can basically pay for your subscription with in-game gold now. Well, okay. Wait, say so again? In WoW, you can pay for your subscription fee now with in-game money. Oh, wow. So as long as so you keep playing, if, you can keep it, The playing. more you play, the more you get money. You can basically make the game pay for itself. Wow. Yeah. That's quite cool. You played yourself. <laughs> Don't trust anyone, even your shelf. <laughs> <laughs> Just look back at my shelf there, like... <laughs> PS2 games on it. <laughs> One just jumps out and starts flinging discs at you. Oh, God. Um... One more thing is on the list. Just saw EA have stated that they think the sort of mid-cycle refresh thing for PS4 and Xbox is great for the industry. The mid-cycle what? Like the, bringing out new consoles halfway through the cycle. PlayStation 4.5 kind of thing. Yeah, and the Xbox Scorpio and that. I think it's great for the companies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what I mean by the industry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, just, I personally uh, yeah. need to hold my judgment, and to be honest, I'm a bit of an outsider now because I don't really play any current We've yet to see games. how exactly it's going to work, but it could potentially kind of split the market, kind of. Because yeah, if you like, sort of push too much, it's kind of, yeah. Um, it's kind of, yeah, and you feel kind of like a second-class citizen playing like the shittier low FPS version. There's obviously not going to be too much of a difference. No, because I mean, that's it's a be really a minor bad difference. idea. Yeah. You know, like Nintendo with the new 3DS. Yeah, um, they just don't allow people to make a game that's completely unplayable. I mean, they've done it before, um, but they try to avoid it as hard as they can. Um, I think it was Hyrule Warriors that was completely unplayable on the original was 3DS. Oh, um, why would you even put it on 3DS? I know <laughs> Hyrule Warriors is really bad anyway, in my <sighs> opinion. I think it really sucked that Linkle as well is um, only in High War Warriors. I want to play as Linkle in the new Legend of Zelda. <laughs> Wait, I swear someone, I swear someone said something about the new Legend, or is that just like it was confirmed false? What? Her being in the new Zelda? Oh no, Nintendo said that they're not going to because Link is a guy, and that's it. Uh, and it's like, enough. but he's gender neutral. He, it doesn't matter. He's literally called Link. He is the link between the player and the world. So why not make him a link that some people can be more linked to? <coughs> I, I don't... Stupid Nintendo. I don't like it. But did you see the thing about... It was a rumour, and it's in quite in depth, though, that, um, about what the NX is going to be. Uh, uh, what's that again? Yeah. Um, it, so the NX is... Uh, well, it's... Like they, a Nintendo a don't even know what it is. It's like it's a, just it sounds like a plug and play place. console. Thing. What are we making here? <laughs> I <laughs> think that's. I what think the that's fuck it, is right? a Nintendo? <laughs> <laughs> I don't because from my perspective, um, I look at Nintendo and I think they don't know what they're doing, do they? No. They just do stuff and hope it works out. Did and you like, see it, Pat? Like, what the it Wii is, and the Wii U are both gambles. But Pat, um, do you see what it might be? It's like a detachable no. screen, like it's, a mobile. Console. It's kind of like a handheld, which has cartridges, and it plugs into your TV like a plug-and-play thing. What the fuck? Yeah. So the console is like the Wii U gamepad, but more. That that is the console, so you can take it out and about, and then you can take it home and plug it into a TV. I personally. Which means, is it going to be weak? I'm going like, to hold I my judgment, um, but I, I mean, from. But the way I look at it, I'm like Nintendo, and the way that kind of they're making for one minute. Zelda for that and Wii U makes me think: Is it going to be probably not much more powerful than a Wii U, just as a handheld format? Yeah, yeah. I mean, Which, Nintendo... it's cool, but with what everyone else is doing and starting to jump ahead, it's kind of like Nintendo always seen for the last kind of two, three generations that they're always one step behind everyone else. The Wii U, by the way, is incredible, but Nintendo didn't like; they just didn't 
do it right. No. Games. They treated the Wii U gamepad like a gimmick, not a functionality. Yeah. And I think that's where Nintendo's problem always lies. It's in the yeah. fact that they are they are just they they don't know what the fuck they're doing. Uh, and it feels like they've got like they they're just blind and they're just running around in circles, occasionally being in the right place and occasionally not. Um, and that's the thing. Even if the NX is amazing, I do not trust Nintendo with it. Um, uh, and they never need to learn from their mistakes because they have more money than most countries do. So, hmm. uh. oh, yeah, and the controllers disconnect from the side of it or something. Yeah, it's weird. It's, so you've got like just a screen, and then you can prop it up and. Oh when are we actually getting details on this fucking console? God knows. Nintendo don't. I mean. They're really holding Direct out, aren't some, they? I don't know why they're holding it's, out. It better pay out, off. I mean, Jesus. It's coming out really soon, like six months or so. Yeah. And we still don't even know what it is. And, I mean, we've seen specs and we've seen what it looks like and we've heard all this stuff about it, but we still don't know what it is because it's fucking nuts. Lol. I still don't... Ugh. And... I really, really want to be positive about it, but I don't trust Nintendo because they fucked over the Wii U. The Wii U did not fail Nintendo. Nintendo failed the Wii U. I... Ugh. <laughs> the thing is, it seemed last year and really hit their stride with what people wanted, which was games. Like, they brought out Mario Kart, then Smash, and the people thinking they were kind of back in their stride of kind of more to the gamers. And then they get, now they're going back to their gimmicks again. That's, I don't think the Wii was a good console. I think the Wii was a bad, bad The, the Wii sold because of the motion stuff and the yeah, casual. And, and they actually stuff. had games. Yeah, they think at the same they, time, they appeal to casual people with the bowling and all that. They think the gimmicks shit. sell, not functionality. And I look at the Wii and I think it was in the long run really bad for Nintendo because they look at it and they go, that was our big success story, when in reality it was a fluke. Hmm. Um, and I don't think because everyone, tried, everyone else tried. Everyone else tried it afterwards. The Kinect and that tried sort of improvements on the motion control and trying their own thing and PlayStation Move. And ultimately, yeah. they failed because it was kind of like a one-off thing. Yeah. No, no one wants it. It's not the future. I mean, VR, gimmicks VR. don't sell. The functionality does. And the Wii U gamepad, the off-screen play, all of that stuff was functionality, but they treated it like a gimmick. Mm. And if they treat the NX's functions like a gimmick, then it will fail because people will look at it and see like um almost like a toy, not a games console. Yeah. And um, I think that, that's partly because that's kind of what Nintendo started with in a way. Because back then the consoles were seen as a toy. Yeah. Yeah. And as the years have gone on, they've moved away from that. They're still, at their heart, they are a toy, but they're much more than that now. They need to be functional. Yeah. They need to have something. I don't. Yeah. I will. I will probably buy the NX because. Yeah, it might surprise us. It might be something like, yeah we weren't expecting. But yeah. Let's hope. I heard so. it's, it's, <laughs> Everyone it's all hoped. Over the place. I think. I personally yeah, wanted. Really you know, it's like it's like everyone's everyone's going to a party. And Nintendo always seems to show up wearing weird costumes. Yeah, they they seem to <laughs> they show up in their fur suit, and I'm like Nintendo, just this once. <laughs> it's your mother's wedding. Can you please <laughs> wear a suit, not a fur suit? And they're like, guys, I got this new fur suit. It's like a Lombax. It's, uh, no, Nintendo. Whereas please. Xbox are there, like this is my suit, and next year I'm wearing this suit, which is much <laughs> better than this suit. Yeah. And Sony it's, are there just like, it's just a suit. It works. It fits nicely. Yeah. Come yeah, on. and Todd Howard standing in the corner. It, <laughs> it just, just works. Suits. It just suits. <laughs> it just suits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. Um, the new DLC for Fallout isn't on PS4. They're having issues, <laughs> surprisingly. Uh? And they're still saying mod support. They don't know when it's coming to PS4 either. Doesn't it run like utter shit on PS4? It's okay. It's passable, but... Oh, yeah. Okay. Like, it was just under 30 a lot of the time. Like, it's not terrible. I mean, I don't define that as passable. For me, it's okay. <laughs> but, yeah, I think it's something apparently, like, the limit for downloads is so much on PS4 compared to Xbox. So that's why yeah. they can't allow mods. Oh, yeah, some of the mods might be bigger. Anything. 
on my PS4, I just leave it overnight. Yeah, but like there's a limit to like what Sony allow through. Yeah. Like their validation system. I mean, so. it's weird. Sony's um, PSN store is so bad. Like, do you have a really hard time just getting around the UI and doing stuff? It seems really not user friendly. I'm okay because I've used it a lot. Yeah. Since kind of it come out, but it is quite clunky. It's just yeah. And it does feel like a step back. I mean, the Xbox 360 dashboard by the end was pretty good. Like you could, they had like a quick button thing you go to, and then you could put anything you could kind of yeah pin to it. So you okay. could have all, all the games and apps stuff you use regularly there. So it's quick to access. Whereas on the PS4. You have to fucking scroll along a massive list of shit it, it to get to some be, stuff. <laughs> yeah, it'd be like controlling my PC with a controller. Oh, yeah, that's why. I, yeah, and when I've gone like Steam, what's the Steam? Steam Big Picture mode. Yeah, and I've done that a couple of times by accident. We I'm like, what the it, fuck's this? <laughs> we use it on Zach's TV when we're all doing local games together because he doesn't have enough USB ports to have a mouse oh, and right. a keyboard and four controllers plugged in. <laughs> <laughs> and it's okay. Um, but then you're not doing all the functionality stuff that you'd be doing with a PS4. You're just literally just picking a game and starting it up. Mm. Mm. Um, I, I don't know about um, I don't know about Microsoft Store, but with the Wii U, um, it's okay because you've got a touch screen. Yeah, um, that's good. so it's a lot easier to navigate the user interface, even if having a loading screen between everything is really annoying. Oh, fuck that. But yeah, so, yeah, Sony's, the Who, PS4's system I kind of just got used to over the years, I guess. Who yeah. was bragging before the current gen that's like, oh, no loading screens ever? Who said, who was that? Um, I don't know. Someone said something like that, which obviously Peter's didn't that. fucking happen. But... Well, that's not very easy to do. That really. sounds Microsoft-y. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Someone said it. With probably. um, with the Wii U, you have a loading screen to open your friends list up. Mm, like everything on the Wii U, everything requires a loading screen. Well, and it takes Mass a Effect had a lot of loading screens that weren't there. They were covered by elevators. So uh-huh. I think that should be on most games, even on like the Wii U. Well, next just, just, store, just see you're in an elevator. You, <laughs> you um, you you click on your friends list on the Wii U when it just dumps you in an elevator. Yeah, right. like an avatar. Playing elevator, elevator, elevator you're, music. You're me. Uh-huh. You're just uh-huh. in an elevator. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. Anyway, um, we come to an end here. Um, we'll oh, try really? and do another one sooner. Not going to be a month this time. Yeah. Um, but yeah. As usual, I've been Commander Josh. You I've find been. Me. I've been. I am. Uh, uh, I will be. Therefore, you are. <laughs> yep. Um, uh, my YouTube channel is Commander Josh. Pretty simple. Twitter is Josh Simons ninety one. Not Simmons. Not Simmons. Um, <laughs> Louis, your Twitter is Rossi one six seven. And YouTube is Rossi one six seven. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Check him out. He's, he's starting. He's doing a Harry Potter thing at the moment. Uh, Yeah, I'm doing a Harry Potter marathon, uh, I guess, because of Cursed Child and the Harry Potter anniversary. Oh, yeah, Um, tickets go out for that tomorrow, by the way. Yeah, we should absolutely try and jump in, because I don't know how quick they're going to sell. When is it for? Like, the tickets for tomorrow from, like, the next few weeks onwards, up to December or something like that. When's the actual show? Like, onwards every week. Whenever you oh, want to see it. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's just like, I'm, it probably will sell pretty quickly, so we kind of... Yeah, we should, like, we should definitely... All right, I'll, uh, yeah. I'll quickly yeah, look up my... I, don't, I think they go up at, like, 11 tomorrow or something, so... Yeah. Let's kind of check it out. I don't think they'll go ridiculously fast, but yeah. it won't last more than a day or so, so we have to make our minds up pretty right. quick. Yeah. Um, you guys hear that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll finish then. Um, Pat, you're Patman on YouTube. I'm the Patman. The Patman. I'm the Patman. And I'm you're the Patman. Patch A Afton on the Twitters. Seriously, uh, check out my shit. I, What's your Tumblr pages, guys? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Dot com. Uh, YouTube slash com. Oh, you All see, right, co- really? co- Copper Cap, woman. Copper Cap, yeah. Oh. I, he's so funny. Yeah. I fucking love Copper <laughs> Anyway, um, we'll finish there. Louis getting a phone call. Uh, all right, Apple, then, cool. Fucking a- Apple sponsorship there. <laughs> um, we'll yeah, we'll see so you much. next time. Bye. bye. Oh yeah, bye. <laughs> <laughs> what? What's my got... stuff? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yeah. All right, we... And Josh Simons Lotto.com. Bye. <laughs>